I'm a simple country boy, with simple needs. I reckon I have two rules in life. Don't count on a man that can't drive, and don't trust a woman that doesn't get your humor. I think after playing this game, I have a new rule. Don't judge a game by its graphics. Plants vs Zombies is one of those games I saw everywhere, but it never appealed to me enough to actually buy it. Regrettably, I would have never played this game if the fine folks at PopCap didn't send me a reviewer copy. Why didn't this game appeal to me? Well, it looks like your average Java or Flash game that you can play for free on the internet. The truth is, after just a short time of playing, I saw why this game is worth money. The game is incredibly addictive. It has a dry, somewhat ironic sense of humor. It has a lot of replay value. It's challenging, but not to the point of impossible. It's satisfying when you kill a zombie, and it's pretty long. Let's see. Addictive, dry, a lot of replay value, satisfying, long. This game is ripping off my penis. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't have a dry penis. See, that's the kind of adolescent frat boy humor you're gonna get from watching gameplay of plants and zombies fighting each other. Hope you weren't expecting quotes from the Roman poet Virgil. In its essence, this is a real-time strategy game. Instead of a war battalion that runs on sweet, precious Saudi oil, you have plants that run on sunlight. By collecting these sun energy things, you gain points to place new units on the battlefield, which just happens to be your lawn. The strategy aspect of the game really comes into play with the diversity of plant types. Sunflower plants, for example, give you extra sun points. Pea shooters and their more powerful repeater counterparts shoot projectiles at the enemy. Cherry bombs explode zombies after a short timer. Walnuts act as a type of, well, wall obstacle. They slow down the enemy, as most zombies eat anything in their path before they can advance further. And walnuts take a long time to munch down. The fact that this game gave walnuts eyes and thus made them a conscious creature is probably the funniest part of the game to me. The walnuts are in essence sacrificing their life for the greater good. If a zombie actually reaches your house, you don't have to worry because your last line of defense are the lawn mowers on the far left side of the screen. This game has mini games, uh, nighttime levels that obviously do not give you a free supply of sunlight, and many, many hours of fun. This is a game I recommend, and my final score for this game is 8.5 out of 10. Bella, Horrida Bella, 